Okay, let's move to the last out of uh, three theories about what affects, considering the technology, what affects the organizational structure. But let's recap a little bit. At first we have had Woodward model, so we have had Woodward model, and this model has focused how the technology affects the choice of a structure. So technology, technology affects the structure. The structure. Then we have somehow moved uh, a one step forward with the Perros model. So we have Perros, Perros, and this model told us uh, how the complexity of the tasks. So the complexity, complexity of the tasks uh, affects the structure again. So the structure. And finally, we are moving to the James D. Thompson model, and this model is going to tell us about the task interdependence. So, Thompson, how the task, and I will change the color for this, so the task interdependence, interdependence, again affects the structure, so structure. So let's take a look on this. What what has happened between the first model and and the step to the second model was the question why. So here was question why, and especially it was why do we consider some some tasks or or we can say the technology in the tasks in the tasks or in performing these tasks affect the structure. Then we have asked ourselves why do we consider some of the tasks or technology in them uh, complex and some of them as a, as a relatively simple routine. And to the third model we are moving with some sense of a, of a time or some uh, sequences. So here we have got some time. So let's let's try to write the definition for what does it mean to say a task interdependence. Well, it is the method used, or we can say the manner in which the organizational tasks are related to one another. So it is a method, or a manner, or a manner in which the tasks, so tasks, are related to each other. So are related, and I will change the color now, in, in sequence, in sequence to one another, to one another. And here is the whole point of the idea. We can, we can try to make again a bipolar line with the two extremes and we can have a high task inter interdependence, so here we have high and here we are going to have low. So what does it mean that some task has got uh, some low interdependence or, or the sequence of them has got low? Well, it means that we are going to be individually specialized. So individually, individually specialized, specialized. And on the other hand, when uh, the, the interdependence is high, we are going to be jointly so jointly specialized so that we are here we are going to focus on a, on a individuals so individuals and here some groups or some teams so groups teams and especially and I will change the color for this some sequences so sequences so in the next videos uh, you are going to see uh, three different ways. He's, uh, he's seeing uh, three different structures or three different task interdependencies and those are going to be the mediating, so mediating where uh, it is just about the individual. So the task comes and then goes away. Then there is going to be the long linked, so long linked where there is some sequence, so we have got some sequence of workers and the task comes and goes through several of them and finally there is going to be the intensive, so intensive and, and there you can imagine really the team, how it is working, so at first the task comes 
and then it is moved to some another member and then again to the third member and then it is transferred again and maybe for check again. So hopefully see you in next videos where I will enlighten these.